Goblin. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. My 19-year-old brother puts sports bottle lids on his chocolate milk. Thank you for sharing his wisdom with us. I'll take six! Youth culture is feeling like if you don't succeed by 25, someone will literally come kill you. <laughs>
Now, there's more than three fables on why you shouldn't. Have you ever thought about how weird sleeping is? Like, we basically dress ourselves in special sleeping clothes and lay on special sleeping mats, then pretend the next few hours completely comatose, all while hallucinating vividly. S stop. 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 Uh, no. I can't. I can't deal with this right now. The phrase, this made me think of you, is my favorite thing someone can ever say to me. That said, Andy, I got you this rad frog with a tiny hat. Made me think of you. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. He looks like he's about to write one of those me and intellectual posts. You bark. Me an intellectual. Hmm. Tree trunk. Today I learned a star discovered 75 light years away is no warmer than a freshly brewed cup of coffee. Youch! That's still pretty hot. Behold a rare render of Bowser from Mario Golf for the Nintendo 64. The assault work was never released as a standalone image and can only be found in magazines and other third-party materials released around 1999. Look at Bowser. He's just pointing at that ball going, Bull! I can domesticate him! Some ancient Egyptian staring at a cat circa 7500 BC. I think you mean some ancient cat staring at an Egyptian circa 7500 BC. Guys! Guys! You're both right. You ever open up a fic and barely a paragraph in, your whole body starts trembling with giddy excitement? The plot is exactly right, and the atmosphere and the voice are all so singly good right at the very beginning, and you have to stop yourself from hooting like crazy old wizard because... Oh, oh, Ooh, this one's gonna be good! If Sans was non-binary, I guess you could say he's... Sans gender. <laughs> Why do little kids get all the cool clothes? What if I want a shirt with a stegosaurus driving an excavator on it, huh? Why does the fashion industry not think about that? <sighs> High school is so funny in hindsight. The entire time you're there thinking it's the most important period of your life, and then the second you're out, you're like, well, that was fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember anything about high school. Except that I know it filled me with a lot of existential dread. Writing prompt. You don't have an angel or a devil on your shoulder. You have an angry viking and a 50s housewife. Uh, both are telling me to solve my problems with murder. The debate is over the method. Midwest emo scare the shit out of me. How the hell do you grow up in a cornfield and come out listening to mindless self-indulgence? What the fuck happened in that cornfield? Well, I can't speak on Midwest emos, but I can speak on upstate New York emos who also have cornfields. Andy, p put my face in a cornfield for this shot. There's nothing here! Everything sucks! I'd rather kill myself! Hey, yo, catch these hands! With your hands. We're holding hands now. This is nice. Oh, my God, I'm responsible for me. What have I done? You're telling me this article is bi? What's that? This former is trans too? It, it took me a hot second. Anyone else constantly on edge because we're in the final stages of late capitalism and these next couple of decades are gonna be make or break the Western world? And this just happens to coincide with the part of my life where I'm supposed to make something of myself? You know, you didn't have to say it with words. I agree. So that said, Andy, do me a favor. One last one for the video. Uh, give me a perfectly cut explosion right here and... What do you mean you don't imagine animations in your head every time you hear a good song? Oh. Oh, indeed. Man, these 20s really ain't roaring, man. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sad. Shout out to all the people who identify with gifted kid burnout syndrome, who are probably just neurodivergent but weren't diagnosed as a child, who used to devour books like it was nothing and never really understood why the protagonist would leave their cool fantasy world behind to go back home at the end of the story, and are now extremely disappointed in reality and use escapism as their primary coping mechanism. How's that bisexuality and deep-rooted anger at the school system going for you? Wow, excuse me. I didn't expect to be mentally stripped naked like a chicken in this corner of Wendy's. Excuse me. Why is it so small? It's a baby. Thank you, science side of Tumblr.
Today I learned King James IV put twin babies on an island to see if the children would speak the language of Eden. Children developed a communication method, but the experiment failed because no one else knew what language of Eden sounded like. <sighs> the Middle Ages, everyone. So, I was talking to a boy today and called him dude, and he goes, Hey! Hey, whoa! I'm not your dude. I want to go by bro. And the very first thing that popped into my head was, Wow, he has preferred pronouns. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Andy? Andy? What would you like your preferred pronouns to be? After all these years, finally, we have them all. Yeah, I use this pro gamer technique called hitting every single button frantically with my little raccoon hands until something happens. You probably wouldn't get it. It's really, really advanced. Uh, that's how I play Genshin. Do you think that in like 40 years, teens will be calling the Supernatural finale extremely progressive for its time? I think in 40 minutes, I'll be outside your house with a knife. Thunder. Head smash. Gunk shot. Foul play. The real non-binary agenda. All right, which one of you snitched? Who we'll fucking did it? <sighs> Beach boys, city girls, mountain goats. Hey, wait, ain't this the trio from Percy Jackson? Although they have a reputation as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies the hyena took down the airplane. God, I would have loved to have seen that. I'm sure we all would have loved to have seen that, just to know what it was like. Andy? Can you do me a favor? I theorize that queer people might love the italicized O oh moment in romance novels and fanfics because we experienced it in real life when we realized we were queer. We've had that moment where all the pieces click together and suddenly everything makes sense. We stood dumbfounded as a ton of little things suddenly stand out blazing in hindsight. We realized how obvious it's been all this time and suddenly everything seems different and terrifying and wonderful. We've had that seismic shift, learning something that can never, ever be unlearned. And genuinely, the only thing you can really say is, Oh. It's part of our love language, and I will use it in every fanfic I write until I die. Good on you, user little star lost. Behold, water in the air captured at just the right timing to look like Mario jumping. What were the odds? I think you mean, what are the odds? No. Transing your gender. Please do not turn off the console. <laughs> I turned off the console while my gender was being trans done like a fucked up corrupted gender. I tilted the gender cartridge in the console so it made my gender wiggle around in a humorous manner. <laughs> Try a tasty cookie warmed in Owen. No, 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 thank you, Owen. No. 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 I feel like people do not fully understand how much life changed for our species between 1900 and 2000. I still struggle to comprehend it. These events are 66 years apart! To give some perspective, chariots were invented circa 2000 BC and were the fastest form of transportation known to man for around 3800 years until the trains in the 1800s. Then 100 years later we were flying and 66 years later we were on the moon. Sienna would be so proud of y'all. You ever see shit that just makes you think, I know I'm very online, but I'm not online enough for this one. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Reddit. ADHD is so funny. It's like being possessed, but with myself. Me, desperately. Can we please, please get something done? My inner demon, who is also me. <laughs> Oh, the enjoyment I get from removing the wax packaging from a little cheese wheel is immediately aligned with entertainment zoo animals get when they have to solve a puzzle or get into a box to find a treat. I am just a simple ape 
and the Babel Cheese people are my enrichment team. You know, I think about this post a lot. I talk about it a lot. It's to the point where at work, when we don't like someone, we go, that person is not on my enrichment team. Because apparently the biggest insult we think is that the person is not successfully zooing us. I love it. You are not necessary to the broth. You give no nutrients to the broth. You do not season the broth. You bring no value to the broth. You are nothing. Enough. Get out of the soup. What? What? Andy, help me here. What? Well, then get out of the soup aisle. All right, you don't have to shout at me. There's more soup. What do you mean there's more soup? At the soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you. Actually, growing up is feeling like I turned 16 two days ago. I've been 18 for years. 15 years old seems so young. Wasn't I 15 just a few weeks ago? All my friends and I are still 12. I'm closer to 30 than to being a baby. I never got to be a kid. I never grew past eight. I can't talk to my mom. I want to sit on her lap forever. This week is going by so slow. An entire year has passed. I want to decide everything for myself. I need someone to tell me exactly what to do. <sighs> yeah. When I was younger, I never used to lick the yogurt off the yogurt lids because I saw a documentary once, and in it there were clips of bears rootling through people's bins. And one of them, a bear, found a yogurt lid and was licking the yogurt off. I would be like, this is for the bears, and scoop a little extra into the lids before I put them in the bin. Mom kept telling me, bears don't live here, but I kept doing it, just in case. And one day... The bears will thank you for your kindness. Hey, Yahoo Answers, how do we know you're not an AI or something? Because there is no intelligence on Tumblr, artificial or otherwise. Ow! Damn! Got him! Do you ever get a wave of nostalgia for a hyperfixation that's never coming back with the same sort of melancholy with which you mourn a lost childhood friend? Like, you consumed my every waking moment for six entire months, and now I have not thought about you in years. I miss that passion. Can, can Tumblr stop being a mood, please? Just stop it. Stop. People who draw female dwarves and orcs skinny or petite, you're killing the world. Now, people who draw female dwarves and orcs large, fat, or muscular, you're nourishing the world and I'm in love with you. Skyrim is incredible because it's kind of like a game where you can kill like five extremely high-ranking members of the Empire and it changes literally nothing about the Civil War going on half an hour away. Bethesda loves to be like, well, you got choices. They don't do anything, but you got them. You! You get it! Self-care is breaking into NASA and launching yourself directly into the fucking void. May we suggest a soothing bath instead? Too late! Andy, show me into the void! A wishing well, but instead of granting your wishes, you put a coin in and it throws beach balls at your face. This is an idea. I do not take criticism. Yo, get in, loser. We're gonna admire moss and mushrooms in the forest. Oh, hell yeah! Homework? Decent grades? Oh, the Bible said Adam and Eve, not Adam and Achieve. <laughs> Fuck, all the spit everywhere. Look at this. Look at this happy ass fox! Oh my gosh! Those feces! If you become undead, you get another chance at gender. Assigned female at death. Oh, you mean a fad? My gender is not a fad, bitch! Hello, Karen. You constantly misgender your son. If you do not correctly identify each pride flag shown within five minutes, the automatic turret will misidentify you as a target. I'll pay! Change your URL. It's fucking brilliant. Why do people say Jesus H. Christ? Like, what is his middle name? Lol. Hot dog! It's... It's Howard, you know? Howard be thy name? Hot dog!